Hey guys, so I've been playing golf for about 18 months now and I've done okay, but I've noticed a few things. Um, on my swings, it's mainly just on my driver, um, I've been pushing things. I, it's not a slice, it's just a slight push. And then also at the top of my swing, my club head is completely flat. I mean, you could put something on it and it would stay. And so I just want to know how can I help fix that and how can I keep from pushing my shot. And also, I've been sitting at the low 90s and I just want to know how to go lower. Thank you guys. Macy, thank you so much for a very in-depth uh, intro very good, there, Andy. Yes, definitely. Very good. Lots of information and obviously we've got enough information there to help fix your golf swing. Now, as you can see, guys, it's time for My Swing Analysis. This is where we analyse one of your golf swings. Now, for you to win, a chance for you to win, should I say, a swing analysis, what you need to do is you need to post a comment down below on why you need that swing analysis. Now, Andy keeps entering every week. He hasn't won yet, so we do know there's a lot of people who enter. Um, desperate need of some help. <laughs> Absolutely, you are, all the time. Right, okay, so look, uh, Macy, she's been playing 18 months, Andy. I mean, this is pretty impressive. A really good golf swing, yeah. 18 months, and the scores are really good. Don't worry too much about those at the moment. Um, what we need to do really for you today is just show you how we can just make you a little bit more accurate and show you yeah. the things that are just uh, causing you to hit the golf ball to the right. And you've got a lot of knowledge about your golf swing already. And that's, I think the first thing to talk about here is before we get into the swing analysis is that you mentioned that your club face is closed, especially at the top of the backswing. Now, a closed position at the top of the backswing isn't the end of the world. Where it becomes a problem is if you are hooking the golf ball. Now, it may have been that you did hook the golf ball before, but if you're not really hooking it now, I wouldn't worry too much about that. That's the first thing I would say. So, I hope that makes sense. When we get into the analysis, let's get both views up here. First thing we can see, Andy, the posture possibly could be a little bit more athletic. Yep. But then as we go into the golf swing, as you said, Andy, it's a really good golf swing. We see a lot of nice positions throughout the backswing. As she said, it's a little bit closed. The downswing is where you can see that it starts to go a little bit awry. So as she's swinging down, Andy, we can see she starts to almost stand up. Her pelvis, what we call early extends, thrust yep. into the golf ball. You can show that in a moment. And then through the golf ball, we can see that the club is very much sort of going up and high. So it's going almost chasing the ball down the line, down the target line, and the club goes very high. So the shot itself that you hit here looks like it was a slight push, but it was actually a really um, a really nice looking shot still. So I think, Andy, we see that Macy's very upright through the golf ball with body and club. And I think what we're going to try and do with some training aids here is actually get a little bit more rounded through the shot, aren't we? Yeah, and this is something amongst juniors that we see a lot, maybe a lot. because they haven't developed the strength to be able to, you know, stay in good posture. And, you know, I think what we're going to give you to do, Macy, is something that's going to, first of all, help you understand your golf swing, but with practice and as you develop and get a little bit stronger, then you're going to find it you know, a little bit easier to actually get into some of the positions, really. But hopefully today you'll have an idea and a plan of how to move forward. This, this is really about just saying, let, let, let's get her hitting it straight now in the feeling of how to do this. Isn't yeah, it? definitely. So we mentioned then, Pierce, that in the downswing, it's pretty good. It gets to about here and then we start to thrust the pelvis forward and lose the posture, almost stand tall and the club wants to go straight and finishes high. So. Look, in the theme of the month, the theme is training aids. We're going to use the Alignment Pro, um, which we can recommend that you get, Macy. It's definitely going to be a benefit to create some feelings on the range and practice. So I'm going to pinch this one off you. You can, yes. So what we're looking to do really is we're going to position this through my belt loop, this one, and then I've got one just ahead of my target line. And we're going to talk about this as soon as I get this between my belt loops Bless here. Bless him, Macy. He's, having a, he's struggling here. We'll get it through in a moment. <laughs> The belt buckle's too big, I reckon. <laughs> um, so it's through the belt loops, Pierce. This is the key thing now. And this is really going to help create some awareness of what the hips are doing. Now, this one here, I've put on the hinge here, just outside the target line, and roughly at a similar angle to the driver. Now, look, what we want to focus on, first of all, is getting you in a good posture, Macy. So we'd like to see that you are a little bit more bent forward from the hips and a little softer with the legs. So as opposed to having a lot of flex and in this sort of sitting down position like so, we're going to get you to feel as if you're a little more forward from the spine. And then just a softening of the legs. This is going to help create a little bit more athleticism through the golf ball. The, the one thing also, on that, sorry, the one thing on that, Andy, just obviously be mindful the length of the club could be causing the posture to go this way. So maybe have a look at a fitting with that as well. Definitely. And just be, being a little bit more bent forward is actually going to help the club get into slightly more 
sort of in front of you on the way down as well. So good posture is key to start. Right, now we're going to get into the golf swing. So from here, all are we going to focus on, we've got two things here. We're going to get to the top of the golf swing. I can see I've rotated the hips pierce. But what we're going to get to do here is make sure that the stick here through the belt loops moves first, but it's going to move back. You can see as I'm doing this pierce, I'm allowing that to rotate and move back. That's going to help the pelvis stay back. So you're trying to hit your bag almost there, Definitely, aren't you? Yeah. Obviously, you've placed that there perfectly before. If I early extend, it's going to rotate a little bit, but you can see it's not going as, mm -hmm. as much back. So the job is to get that working back. Now, here's the best thing as well with this one. I'm just outside my target line. I really feel as if my golf club now swings underneath this and a little more around. Get that over there. And my finished position now is going to be a little more level as opposed to sort of up and, and down like this. So we've got the hips and the alignment stick in the ground here working together. Feeling that moves back, coupled with this moving left as well. And my finish is going to be a lot more round. Yeah, and you can see by and that, that's the exact thing that you need to look at. Obviously, someone's videoed this for you. So when you hit shots, you need to see that you are rotating can your body. A little bit, just I thought that was way. perfect. You're rotating your body more the way that Andy is and holding this flatter finish at the top. So we can recommend that you do this on a practice station. You know, be careful of this. Don't go full power straight away. Hit some soft shots like I'm going to do now. I'm just going to really rehearse that again. So really feel as if that, that moves there and moves left. I'm just going to give this a bit of a tap down the fairway pace yep. on this one. So good posture. Feel that alignment stick move first. And you can see there the ball started left and a little bit of a fade. Now for Macy there, that would be perfect because her club is generally getting a little bit behind her and stuck. Yeah, and I think you're interesting there, you're saying starting to the left of target and then fading back. So with the alignment stick as well, what you can do is you can place this on your target line and just work at starting the golf ball to the left. So maybe when you feel you're really getting the hips working well, you can keep the alignment prone on the ground there, but you can actually get the golf ball starting left of this stick as well. Definitely, Macy. So I mean, some key things there. Look, this isn't going to be a short fix for you. It's more of a, a long-term understanding, hopefully some drills that's going to help you improve your game over a period of time. But if you do these drills, then they will help you. And hopefully, like you say, you're going to, you're going to avoid getting that club stuck and get rid of those pushes. So there you have it guys, thanks for watching. Now, how would you like myself and Andy as your own personal online golf coaches? So at meandmygolf.com, we've created this website which is all the information we've learned over the last 20 years of coaching and really made it personal to you on how you can improve your golf. Now Andy, how do they get there and what do they need to do? Well, all you need there? to do is click the link in the corner there. You can go and sign up for free, have a, have a good look around. We'll see you over there and hopefully we'll be helping your game. Thanks for watching guys. Cheers.